everyone, it's Carrie back with you today. So I've been having a play around with making up some packs of the authentic French documents that we have in the shop and I wanted to come up with a way to make them into a pocket or a little self-contained um, collection but I didn't want to use glue or staples or stitch on the pocket so that whoever was to get the item could use it in its entirety, the paper, even though it would have folds in it, they could still unfold it and it would still be just a piece of paper they could use in their own ephemera. So I'll show you how I've created those, but of course you don't have to just use them for authentic ephemera, I was just using them uh, to start with for the authentic stuff, but then I've had a go at making some using digis and I quite like how these came out as well. Because the pocket isn't glued or stapled or stitched in any way, there are some parts of the pocket that remain open. So you can use it as a belly band. So these papers behind are just slipped in like a belly band. And then to stop everything moving around, I've just used a paper clip on the side there. So I'll get some bits and pieces and I'll show you how I've created them. So here I've just got a piece of A4-ish sized paper from a French document and it's double sided. I do think this project works better with double sided papers but if you've only got single sided just have a go and see what you think. And the first thing I'm going to do is fold over the paper so that I've got these two peaks and they're roughly the same level. I don't measure anything. And then I'm just going to pop a fold in there. Then the sides need to come in and this will give you the pocket and again I don't measure anything I just sort of wing it with with the thought of what documents I'm going to put in it. So if if I had some very wide documents I'd want to make a, a wide sort of pocket base but if I had skinny little documents then I'd fold this in further to give me more of a skinny pocket. So for this one I'm going to fold it just going to eyeball it roughly about there. So all we've done is fold in one side and then in the other side and to make it even I line up the bottom when I'm folding I line up this piece of paper with this edge here and that gives me a nice straight edge along here so it's at 90 degrees along here and then the same when I fold the other side. So to complete the pocket all you need to do is slide this piece inside the first flap here and that gives you a bunch of pockets but there's also an opening on the bottom which is what you would use for the belly band section if you wanted to have some longer documents poking through. If you want to have the top of your pocket square, so like on this one here, the this part of my pocket is squared off, then you just need to fold in these points. So again I'm using this edge against this edge to, to get a straight line and then I'll do the same with this one. So I've just folded those points down. So the pocket isn't really going to function with these flaps here. So you can either cut them off, but because I want to keep the document intact, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to lift the edge of the flap up and poke this inside and let it, let it sort of find its own fold line and press that down and the same on the other side. So now those little flaps are on the inside and our pocket is still free to use. So then we can just come in with our documents and decide how we want to present them. So I'll put this long one at the back. So something like that. And then if your bits and pieces are sort of aren't uh, fit, fitting in there snugly you can just use a paper clip or a bulldog clip on the side to hold everything together. So I've got this little faux rusted fabric cluster here and I'm just going to use a paper clip to attach that. So 
So there we go, that's our little pocket there with all the bits and pieces in and all of this can be taken apart and then used in another creation. There's no um, glue, stitching or staples in this back pocket here. So as I mentioned before, you can use the middle section as a belly band. So once you've created your pocket, I'm just going to take all of this out of the pocket for the moment. So here's my little empty pocket here and you can see there's this hollow section up through the middle of the pocket. So if you're having trouble getting the items in the middle through that belly band pocket or the belly band hole, sometimes it's easier just to undo everything. So we're back to this stage where we've just unfolded the pocket. You can place whatever items you like in the middle and then just close your pocket back up around those bits and pieces and then go back and tuck everything else in that you wanted to pop inside the pockets. Now if you aren't using something that you don't mind gluing or cutting then you might want to create the pocket like this. So same way to start with. We've just got these two little peaks and we've just folded it and then we're going to fold these edges in. So you can see I've got this bit that's overhanging here so if I tried to tuck this in here it's not going to fit. It's going to be too wide. So you can either fold it in and then go ahead and tuck it in like that or you could decide that you just want to trim it down a little bit so you don't have this extra bulk on the inside so you can just snip it off so let's just cut it off about there and then you can just slip that side in and tuck it in that way the same with the top of your pocket if you want to have a nice straight line along here but you don't want to fold these pieces in you can just cut them off so just bringing my trimmer in and just going to line up this edge along the bottom decide whereabouts I want to chop everything off So now I've got my pocket here ready to go and still of course has its little hole in the back if I want to go ahead and uh, pop some longer documents in and use it like a belly band. So these printed pockets that I've created, I've just used standard copy paper. This is just ADGSM paper that I've printed on both sides. You could use scrapbook paper but the more bulky that your scrapbook paper is, the harder it is to crease and the more bulk it's going to add to your journal. So if you want to have these inside your journal you may want to use a thinner paper. So just a quick little project share today. I really had fun making these pockets. They are so fast to put together and they're pretty versatile when you think that you could use them just as pockets or you could pop, up, pop in some other documents and have them as like a belly band on a larger piece. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll have a go and make some too. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you again next time. Bye.